I'm Dirty Jack. And I'm the Dusty Bean. Come on an adventure with us. Hello, and thank you for joining us. This week, we had an amazing adventure at Ambrose Lake State Forest Campground. This rustic, ATV-friendly campground is nestled on the shores of Ambrose Lake, about 11 miles north of West Branch. During our stay, we accessed several trail systems right from our lakefront campsite. The fall colors and ATV trails were the most amazing we have come across so far. Come along and see what this beautiful area has to offer. You can see the leaves on the ground. It's fall here in Michigan. We need to get some propane. Run that little buddy heater of ours for some cool weather camping we're getting ready to do. All right, we're here with our good friend Bill here at Sunset Storage, and you got the propane tank getting ready for our camping weekend. Here we go. Here we are filling up the propane for the little buddy. Get ready to do some camping. Just picked up this stealth cam. It says reactor cellular trail camera combo. Just got it from Costco for just under 90 bucks. I think it's an end of season sale. Kind of cool, it's got the camera, came with the batteries, a strap, a 16 gig uh, micro card, and then some sort of thing you screw into the tree. I doubt we'll use that much, but we'll use the strap. So we're pretty excited about adding this to our camping stuff and being able to keep an eye on the site to see if animals come through and maybe catch some good videos. Here we go, trying to go see some fall colors. Packing up the trailer. And you can't see it now, but it was just snowing. See, we get some cold weather camping in. Getting ready to head to Ambrose Lake. There's ORV trails and a state rustic campground there. Just showing how this E-Track system's working out. We actually were able, was able to put this gas can on there. Just kind of snug it up. It's nice, you put the ratchet strap on each side, go through the handle so it can't wiggle side to side. And we were able to do that with our generator and our cooler. Just frees up so much room, which is really nice. So we don't have all this in our car now. We're all packed up and we're off to Ambrose Lake, Michigan. We're gonna catch some fall colors, hopefully. Site 14, there we are. Just got about our tent halfway up, right on the water. We're just outside of West Branch, Michigan and Rose City. ORV friendly campground, trails right out of here. Hope this is picking up the fall colors just a little. So we're at the end of the run of lake, lake campsites. It's a little open space there, kind of a little beach area. There's our fire pit. There's our tent. There we go. Got the first part of the tent up. Just took us maybe, oh, five, 10 minutes. It wasn't bad. Um, now we're just tucking the, the tarp under real quick. And then we got to put the rain fly on. So this is our second time using the tent, third time setting it up. We're able to get it, you know, maybe 20, 25 minutes right now. That didn't even take us that long. No, so we're getting much faster. Now we just got to pull the rain tarp over it and get it going. We're getting there. We've got the tent up, eight person tent right on the water. Going to put our tarp down for a floor in our vestibule. <clears throat> got a little more staking to do, but it calls for being a really nice weekend. So we don't worry too much about putting every single guy line down and everything. But we're going to put a couple. But unless the weather is going to turn on us. Here's the fire starter, Lake. You got us. Looks like we're burning a cupcake. Oh, started to go, but then it went out. Come See on, how baby. It goes. There it goes. We used your fire starter. Sun's starting to go down. We had some wet wood, so we were worried, but it took. 
got enough little pieces in there and it got hot enough to where it took so there's our fire just kind of getting started but that's going to be our view for a bit we got the lights going across there it's a motion censored spotlight it's currently 30 degrees out <laughs> We, we lack a little bit of common sense, I think. We're sitting outside by a campfire. It's cold. It's only 8.30, but we're gonna have to go into the tent and get warm soon. We just got done setting up camp. Car sing, it's about 38 degrees out, and we thought it's time for a beer. Wanna give a shout out to Sheboygan Brewing Company in Sheboygan, Michigan. This is their Lighthouse Amber, delicious beer. Suggest you trying it. If you ever get up to Sheboygan, hit the Sheboygan Brewery. We didn't get anything for this. They don't know us. We thought, why not just give them a special in our shot. tent. And I got to show you this because it's our coolest weather camping we're doing yet. And it shows here 32 degrees. 32 degrees in the tent and 29 degrees outside. Okay, time to light the little buddy heater up. There we go. So we kind of just push this pilot down, hold it. We gotta let the propane get all the way through it. We have 10 feet of cord. So you gotta hold it down for a minute, let the propane get through it. 29 degrees outside, 32 in the tent. Instructions say to hold it down for about 30 seconds. If you let it go and it stays lit, you know you're good. So I let it go, pilot's still lit. Then we'll turn it to low. And then it will light. We're thinking low, but we might go high for just, just a few minutes. So we'll go high. Let's see how we do. So it's about 10 o'clock. Might be 10.01. <laughs> Bob's working hard. It is 31 degrees outside, 57 degrees in here. Fahrenheit. We're kicking it. Having a couple beers sitting in our, in our tent. We lit it a little while ago, but we opened the door to move our trail cam, then opened it again to look outside. So we're not doing a good job holding the heat. Us, not the tent. We have a fan going at the top of the tent in a little hammock. Just to blow the, the heat down. And that's where we're at. Just getting up and running this morning. Got the little buddy, we just flipped it up to high. <coughs> It was about 30 degrees last night and it kept it right around 60 to 62 in the tent. We got the coffee going. Good morning, I can't find a brush. <laughs> and then here, kind of shows the temperature starting to go up because we flipped it to high. It's 35 outside, 66 in here. And carbon monoxide detector, if I can get it, it shows zero. We get this higher grounds coffee, it's medium dark roast from Costco whole bean coffee and it's so good we're kind of coffee snobs now so that's why we bring our our grind and brew coffee pot with us camping with the generator so we get a good cup of coffee to start the day good morning dusty bean good morning ready to ride today beautiful the fall colors are beautiful i think it's going to be pretty warm today this campground's amazing beautiful place So we're probably about 10 miles, give or take, to the west of Rose City and about 10, maybe 15 miles north of West Branch. This is a quick viewing of the site. It's chilly last night. It got to about 29 degrees. You can see it's beautiful campsites here. Absolutely beautiful. Right out in the water. There's some that are up in the woods if you want some privacy. It looks like a nice little sandy spot if you want to walk into the water. And if there is any houses on the lake, we sure can't see them. This is Ambrose Lake. Hey everybody, just wanted to give you a quick update. We just rode our ATVs to Kyle's Peak, which is just outside St. Helen. Excited we're here today. It's beautiful. The colors are stunning. 
The nice thing is too, we came out the first night was cold, a low in the upper 20s. Um, we're tent camping, but we got highs around 70 and sunny the next two days. During our trip, we were able to ride several trail systems right from the campground. We rode the Ambrose Lake Trail, the Ogemaw Hills Trail that led us to Kyle's Peak, as well as the Rose City Trails that included a stunning outlook area. More riding later on in this video, as well as additional videos for each coming soon. Right now I've got salmon and Brussels sprouts cooking. We'll see how they turn out cooking over the fire. Turned out excellent. Got some Brussels sprouts with bacon. Let's have a look. Doesn't look mm. too shabby. Perfect. After a long day of riding, we got the generator up and running to get our batteries charged. I'm charging my batteries right now. And there she goes. Put her hammock up, relaxing right by the lake. Good morning, babe. Good morning. Just walking gonna go to the campground. Gonna go for a stroll. Here's our campsite. We're at number 14. What a beautiful morning. It's the outhouses and the dumpster. There's actually two outhouses. I'm not sure. There's the other one. And we're just down that road. We just walked up. Now we're strolling down to the boat launch. Beautiful. It's a small lake, so I don't know the rules as far as what you can put on this lake. It's small, but it'd be a nice lake for kayaking and things like that because it's so small and calm. And I haven't seen a house on it yet. We'll get a good look now, see if we see one. So here's the boat launch. Give you an idea. Now you can see our campsite over there from here, which is kind of neat. Let's see if I can zoom into it. That's us. You can see right in the center. And there's the lake. The view going back into Ambrose Lake State Camp Forest Campground from the boat launch. Give you an idea of what some of these campsites look like. Campsite 23. You can see a lot of these too. They all come with fire pits, nice picnic tables, a lot of boulders at this one. A lot of them have trails connecting to the sites next to them. So if you're not with those people, you have plenty of room, space in between you. But if you are, you got a nice little connecting path. The view back out. On the other side of that land island there with the trees is some more sites. Right to the left is your boat launch. And right to the left down there is your boat launch. Sites one to seven. This is like a big cul-de-sac loop off to your right that is off the lake, but nice spacious sites. And if you go down to eight through 25, that's where you're gonna get another loop that's on the lake. So you can see here, it tells you right when you hang that right, when you first come in, your sites one to seven. If you go straight, it's a lot of one-way roads. There's only a few streets in here. Uh, it'll take you sites to 8 to 25. There are 25 sites, two bathrooms, one hand well pump, no electric, no running water, and a boat launch. Gorgeous campground. The campground's not very big. When you come in, you kind of veer to your right a little, and you'll see this pump along with the outhouses <clears throat> pretty quick after you come in. Here's the well. That's how you pump the water. Oh, water looks nice and clear. We've seen some where water's a little orange, probably from not being used very much. <clears throat> you can tell this one's getting some frequent use. The water's coming out nice. Rose City Trails, the spot of the big hill. Oh, I gotta get out of four wheel drive. Don't forget to take it out of four wheel drive.
dinner. Got hamburgers in there. Sipping on beer. Watching the sunset. Had a great day of riding. We're packing up camp because we leave tomorrow. Bob was putting the quads up. I'm actually literally holding this to cook it, so I'm working and drinking beer. All right, Bob's trying his burger that I cooked on the fire pit uh, with garlic aioli, From some pickles. Sam Adams Oktoberfest burger with this really strong garlic sauce. We love garlic, some pickles, and some salad. Yeah, it's on some field of greens. Delicious. So what we got going on this evening. We're at our final morning here, Ambrose Lake State Forest Campground. Getting up, getting our coffee going. There's our views. I'm gonna sip a little coffee and start taking everything down. We're partway packed up. You can see here. Got the generator packed up. We used it to make coffee. We're getting there. Well, it's always a sad moment. We're all packed up. Just got done with our camping and ATV riding, sightseeing, fall color trip here at Ambrose Lake State Forest Campground. I'm Dirty Jack. I'm the Dusty Bean. Thanks for tuning in. Please feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Join Until us next time, time. guys. <laughs>